Hey everybody, hope you're having a lovely day so far. Man, it's been a crazy little timing game in a very short space of time. Obviously the game went down, we went to emergency maintenance, so it delayed a lot of processes with people's live streams and video creation like mine as well. And obviously I'm going to deliver the boss battles, but I just want to point out something. I think this is absolutely amazing and not great for April Fool's Day to have the game go down, but this thing that Kabam added in, ah, love it. This, this Funko Pop type game mode thing i haven't come across any of the fights just yet i really want to have a fight when i get like a bubble head or kind of like funko pop head sentinel and as well like groot but it doesn't stop there <laughs> because there is an iceman version it looks so adorable i really want kabam to make this kabam could you get in contact with funko pop could you license a game like this i really want to play this if not just a limited time only this is just like so fun so amazing props to kabam on this also with halls of healing as well that is a really cool thing i'm really glad that they put that in but as well you know it's a bit annoying to see a bit of a scuffiness on april fools about the update in any case obviously this video is focused on boss battles and as well i'm going to showcase my one shot with a corvus glaive Obviously, I'm running S-word masteries at the moment. I'm using the term S-word because YouTube seems to sting me every time I use the S-word in obviously referring to the masteries. I don't know if any other MC YouTubers being affected by this, but I just can't say the S-word. I have to say S-word masteries, which is obviously really ramping up my corvus at the moment. And only with three missions completed, managed to one shot with very few amount of hits. In any case, let's showcase this. Let's talk about other champions to use against these bosses. And obviously put in the comment section who you used against what particular boss to help out a fellow summoner. First champion off the blocks has got to be Void. Yes, of course it had to be Void. Safeguard, defensive, bubble shield. Bubble Shield's a little bit annoying, but I'd probably say because this will be the first champion off uh, to stars that you will, if you use class advantage on this one, I'm sure you'll be fine. Running S-Word Masteries against Void is a bit trickier, especially with, obviously, you're going to have to impact quickly so you don't end up seeing a lot of your health just kind of go away. And that's the problem I had, which is health was just, uh, just melting off of me so quickly with running S-Word Masteries. And maybe it was the wrong setup to bring in Blade, but I just wanted to kind of like rush through this. So if you've got any kind of villain synergy, I think this would work out quite well. Uh, even though Safeguard would probably mean it limits down the extent of bleeds. The fact is, it will take debuff effects. Your Omega Reds, you could even do the likes of your Quakes. You know, um, just loads of stuff like that. Quake, obviously, every month has got to be it. Next up, and you've got Symbiote Supreme. Symbiote Supreme has bleed immunity. It doesn't have stun immunity, which is great as well. It means that you can just like th figure out the kind of champions you want to use. You've got Supercharge. Every 15 seconds, the Defender activates a power gain buff. And I'd probably say power control at its element would be quite good. You could use Dr. Doom against this champion. Special bias of SP2 so you can power control it quite nicely. But there are so many options available to take down this guy. Class advantage. You've got the likes of Beardo. You can utilize anything that's just going to like help you out as well. Petrify debuff. Anything that's got that. Limit down the extent of uh, of power gaining. So yeah, you could, you could use um, the likes of of uh, She-Hulk. You know, there are loads of champions available for this. I don't think people are going to suffer too much, but power control if you're feeling a little bit ropey going up against this guy. Next up, and you have got the lovely Sorcerer Supreme. Lots of things. Uh, well, one thing in particular that's uh, improvements to a Rune of Ragador. You've also got uh, Special 1 Bias. Special 1 is like dash dash and then a further dash. I would probably say a really good champion for this one is Beardo, especially because you're able to mediate between doing the decent glancing attacks and as well, you know, absorbing a lot in your um, uh, block proficiency. I would say the SP2 method, which I'm probably going to showcase, didn't really go out according to plan, and that's because the champion has glancing abilities. So I would probably say it's best to uh, to do, do class advantage, hitting in SP1s, and smashing the champion with that. Maybe it's a case Void would be a good champion as well. You look to use Archangel if you choose to, but do bear in mind there's still power gain with this champion, even though there is regen. And as well, the champion does have some aspects in its blessed signature ability to have extensive ability accuracy. So I don't think it's going to be as effective. Don't quote me on that though, but I do feel that maybe it could work and maybe it can't. I may try it out when I go back in for some further runs. 
but as well a mega red could be good especially if you're worried about that power gain hitting to an sp3 and obviously you'll see it draining any other champion that's able to power control fairly well dr dooms your magics could be very handy against this champion but yeah uh, Beardo with a tech synergy, so I'm an Infinity War in with Beardo, could be quite nice against this champion for that petrified debuff. And Void, yeah, of course. Next up, and you've got Dormammu. Do bear in mind with Dormammu, obviously he's a demon, so it could be a case you want to take in your blades. You also maybe want to take in your Void as well. But I would say that it's important not to fire off all your power. Blade is a better option, but do watch out for that degen. And maybe it's a case that you get that Hulk Ragnarok in for the show in order for face me. Because let's face it, you're probably going to be when swiping back, tricking off that dexterity. When it expires, then you're going to be having a champion that interacts well with degen. There is Doctor Doom with a synergy with Doctor Strange, which will limit down the extent of degeneration you should be getting, but it's up to you if you want to pair that off. But obviously, stick to the SP1 and watch out for things like, uh, well, the uh, the Lang Langer, if I'm saying that like, right, probably not. In any case, yeah, do watch out for that. And uh, yeah, Doctor Doom, I think, may be quite good for this. Maybe champions that build up power quite a bit. Hyperion could be a good shout, but it is class uh, class disadvantage. Any champion really that builds up power quickly, you know, that could be an option. Next up is Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister is annoying for a lot of players for different reasons. I decided for this one to use Archangel and he just melted the damage away just using a heavy attack method and as well because I've got S word masteries it does amplify the extent of damage output for this so yeah um, I do like Archangel for this fight but it's not the only one available because you can use a few others. Anything that's got a good heal block over damages against the fight like Warlock has got some decent heal blocking in, Iron Man Infinity War, you know, some people still use Stark Spidey against uh, this guy, and there are so many other champions that cast heal block quite nicely, you've got your visions, you know, there are so many options that are able to heal block or do a bit of power control, which could be quite nice. Do bear in mind, if you want to make sure that you're not taking quite so much damage from debuffs that you sent over to the enemy, then it's important to really make sure that you go into a block stance and try and avoid the champion throwing that SP1 a lot more. But if you're good at avoiding it, that's going to be absolutely fine. But yeah, heal block champions I think seem to be the key. You know, Warlock could be quite cool against this. There are so many different champions that do heal block. So there's lots of options there to limit down the extent of uh, of regeneration this champion has. And finally, Storm. So on the face of it, you know, people would probably say like, oh, right, well, when the champion uh, gets nullified any of your buffs, which let's face it, you kind of go like, well, I'll use Dr. Doom, uh, even though he's shock immune, and that would be quite good. But at the same time, it may not be the right thing because whenever a defender's buffs are nullified, they gain 40% of a bar of power. Uh, I haven't really kind of like played about this fight much because it's a fact of like I went in with uh, with Corvus. I only had uh, three <laughs> three missions completed and was like, oh, I'll just kind of like I'll go in and see what happens. It's like, oh, okay, okay, that was that was kind of good. That's kind of nice. And it was just over as soon as it started. Now, you can look to use certain champions that, that ramp up quite nicely. You can't Marvel movies. If the champion is seeing, if you're seeing a lot more of buffs, then Ronan could be an example. That'd be quite, quite good. Um, I would say champions that do power control in general, you know, your visions we just talked about. Any other champions that power control like Psylocke could be a cool option as well, if you're looking for different options. Omega Red, SP3, Archangel could be quite nice. Watch out for things like the champion going into the Ice Tempest mode. And I'd say if you want to use champions like Sabretooth, that could be quite a cool option. There are different ones available. Sentinel as well. You know, Stark Spidey with a bit of power control. I would probably say ramping up Stark Spidey. Get those 10 poise charges. And then it's a case you're able to smack in with, um, with a great amount of damage when it comes to special attacks. This would probably be a more straight, this is a very straightforward fight. So um, I think there's lots of options there available. Put in the comment section who you used for this fight and whether you found it very effective. Warlock as well, definite with Warlock. SP1 is able to power control. And I believe the champion is frost immune or has like some kind of immunities there. So it could be quite handy against this fight uh, in particular. 
And there we have it. That has been the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button as well. Get involved with the comment section. Which champions did you use that maybe I haven't considered against this to help out a fellow summoner? I'll probably be doing a side quest kind of um, mission video if I have enough time this evening. I might not live stream, but we'll see what happens with the time frame. Thank you very much for watching this video. And by Thor's Hammer, which is which is here, Milner's here, uh, check out some new content up here. It's probably the Marvel Contest of Champions news. Make sure to check out some sporting links and as well you know the second channel which is over there which if i'm gonna live stream i'm gonna be live streaming some uncollected smashing uh today tomorrow and friday and hopefully uh over the weekend what we'll see thanks for tuning in see you in the next one bye, -bye for now